mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And let's uh, use this today as our Bible reading, our text, and we're going to preach on a message entitled, The Ultimate Sacrifice. I'm glad that Jesus was willing to make that ultimate sacrifice oh, for you. Amen. 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 So let's look to him. I'm going to ask his blessing upon the service. Reverend Coker, sir, will you pray, please? Wonderful Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. Again, we thank you for each one that's in service this morning, Lord, and that's with us. Father, we ask you to let a fresh unction rest upon Pastor Polk. Lord, speak to hearts by your word, challenge, and accomplish your will. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Well, I think most of us know that tomorrow is Memorial Day. Reverend Coker already touched on, touched on it when he was beginning the service. And we uh, will celebrate Memorial Day tomorrow. And to a lot of people, it's just the unofficial beginning of summer. We know that June 21st is the beginning of summer, officially. But school's about to be out if it's not already out. I don't know. I don't have children in school, so I don't know when school is let out. Okay. And people began to plan their vacations. There will be many that will have the day off tomorrow. For Memorial Day, people have barbecues planned. We know the weather is nice and warm and sunny. And they have things planned uh, for the day, maybe uh, some other event. Okay? Well, we know people that have gone out of town and gone camping. Okay? Uh, whatever the case may be, but you know, Memorial Day is more than a uh, semi-official beginning of summer or a day to have a barbecue or a day off. What it is supposed to be for okay, is to remember those, a day of remembering. Okay? We remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice yes. in being willing to give their life for our country, for our freedom. Thank God for that. We're thankful Amen. today we come I come from a, a uh, family. My dad was in the Air Force. And then I have a brother that was in the Marine Corps. I was in the Army. My sister was in the Air Force also. So we come from a, a line of, of people who have uh, been in the military. Uh, there are many here that have had family in the military or have been in the military themselves. Okay, we thank God for that, brother and sister. We, we are to spend that day honoring those, okay, to to remember those who were willing to give their life for our nation. But Jesus spoke to us in John chapter 15, in verse, beginning in verse 12. He said, this is my commandment, that ye love one another. Thank God we can have the love of God Amen. in our lives. We can have love one for another. He said, that ye love one another as I have loved you. And then he went on to tell us. And he told us what the greatest kind of love is. He said, greater love had no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Thank God we have had people that have been willing to lay down their life brother, for, uh, for us as a nation, as a people, uh, their, their loved ones. We thank God for that. Well, Pastor, you know, people have been drafted in times past and people join the military and are made to do things. Well, you know what, I, as being, have been in the military during a time of war, I can tell you there, there are a lot of people, there are people that though they are in the military, who are not willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. And there were people who took off and went AWOL and went absent without leave. That's what that means. There were people who were willing, unwilling to do what they were supposed to do. But thank God for those that have been willing to sacrifice and be willing to lay, lay their lives on the line. If it wasn't for men and women like that, brothers and sisters, we would not have the freedoms that we have today. And we appreciate it. We appreciate those who are willing to serve. To serve means to wait upon the needs of others. Not self-serving, but serving others. Now, I joined the military. I was in the military. There's people that were are in the military for different reasons. People uh, would say things like, well, I joined to get an education because they're going to pay for my college, or I joined for job security. 
because uh, I know that I'm not going to really get fired unless I really do something <laughs> really crazy. And then even if I don't produce, they're going to every every uh, uh, month I'm going to get a paycheck. They have different motives. Well, you know what? There there are people that are that way. Whatever. Okay, but you know what? There are many that join because they want to serve. They have a desire to serve their nation, brother and sister. They got. They got. Jesus also told us in Matthew 23 and 11, he said, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whatsoever, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. But he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. I'm glad for people that are willing to humble themselves and serve. And most of all, I'm glad that I have a Savior that was willing to humble himself and serve you and I. And minister to you and I, brother and sister, and sacrifice for us. Jesus wasn't concerned about his own welfare. He wasn't concerned, brother and sister, about what it would cost him. He was concerned about us. He wanted you and I to be able to be set free from sin and from its consequences. And he was willing to pay the price for you and I. You know, we have a Memorial Day. There's various memorials uh, around the nation. We have even memorial cemeteries. I think up in up uh, north of here, okay, Marana, I think they have a military cemetery. It's a memorial cemetery. There you go there, and there's headstones, and some of them are crosses, and some of them are just a kind of a generic shape and whatever, and they're all very uniform, and they keep it very beautiful. It is a memorial to those who have served that are buried there, okay? Well, we have a memorial, and Reverend touched on it, didn't he? And it's, it's not something pretty and smooth like this that they hung Jesus on, brother and sister, but it was an old rugged cross. They hung him on an old rugged cross, and it is an emblem for you and I. Brother and sister, it is something that helps us to remember. We remember what Jesus was willing to do. You know, I've been up to Washington, D.C. I've seen the, the uh, World War II Memorial and the Vietnam War Memorial, the wall, and the Korean War Memorial and the memorial for the, the Marines uh, that were in Iwo Jima. I've seen all of that, brother and sister, different types of memorials to remember different wars and different battles or whatever the case may be, different sacrifices that were made. But oh, thank God, brother and sister, you and I, we can survey, we can look upon the old rugged cross yes. where our Savior died for us. Yes. Let us never forget what Jesus was willing to do for you and I. Amen. Jesus counted the cost. He counted the price. And regardless of what you think about yourself, Jesus thought you were worth giving his life for. And he died for you. Amen. For you and for your sin. Amen? Amen. You know, we, we have a reason to be thankful. We have a reason to rejoice. We have a reason to realize my life has worked. God is, it cares about me. He loves me. He was willing to give himself for me. Let me not throw it away. Let me not waste this life that he bought for me on the things of this world. Let me not, let me not live it in an, un, let me not live it unworthily, but let me live my life as a living sacrifice back to the Lord. Amen. 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 Let us present ourselves a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Thank God we can remember what Jesus was willing to do for us. No, he didn't just say those words. Greater love had no man than he laid down his life for his friends. Did you hear that? Jesus did that for you and I. He considered us friends. We were his enemies, brother and sister. We were away from him, and we were in sin. But Jesus came, and he gave his life for you and I so that we could be his friends, brother and sister, that we could, could have this wonderful 
opportunity to know him as our Lord and Savior. Oh, what a wonderful life yes. that God has given us. Amen. 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 Think about all that the Lord has done, brother and sister. He gave himself for us. Listen to what the Bible tells us in the book of Philippians chapter 2, beginning in verse 4. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, let's think like Jesus did. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man, and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Look at what Jesus was willing to do. He left his throne, brother and sister, at the right hand of God the Father. He was born of a virgin in Bethlehem. He lived a sinless human life. And God the Son, brother and sister, lived a sinless human life. And he allowed himself, brother and sister, to be crucified. He gave up the ghost. He allowed his life to be taken to pay for my sin and for your sin. We're going to have the same mind, brother and sister. We're not to, we're not to be self-centered, but let's be concerned about others. Let's be concerned about the Lord Amen. and what he needs us to do. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him a name above every name. You know, there is none greater. There is no one greater, brother and sister. Amen. Amen. Amen? He was willing to do this. God exalted him, gave him a name above every name. Amen. Let me read something to you. Maybe you get discouraged with this whole world and its sin and all its ungodliness. It's not over yet because he's been given a name above every name that at the name of Jesus Every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Brother and sister, he is the Lord of lords. He is the King of kings. Yes. Amen. Why is he allowing all of this stuff to happen? Because as Peter wrote to us, he's not willing that any should perish but that all would come to repentance. He is long-suffering to us, word, brother and sister. He is having mercy upon mankind. If God would just end it all and come back, how many millions of multitudes would be lost? But Jesus, in his grace and his mercy, is giving mankind a chance. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he's given us a chance. Amen. 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 Not only to be saved, and I believe that everyone here is, okay, but to be a witness and to let other people know the same God that saved me will save you. Amen. The same God that forgave my sin will forgive your sin. Yes, sir. Come on now. The same one, brother and sister. We, brother and sister, as, as the, the church, as the body of Christ, we have a commission from the Lord to be a witness and to let people know. You know, we're uh, here Thursday, Thursday night. Let's go ahead and say it. We're going to have fellowship Thursday night. All right. Okay, it's my wife's birthday. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to have fellowship, not only for her, but uh, Jim and Sally. Their birthday is about four days apart in the beginning of June, but he's going to be out in Colorado working, so he won't be here. So they came by earlier. And he came by to, to drop his tithe off. He, he said, my wife's, uh, uh, we're going to pray for her after the end of the service and others also. Okay. Uh, she said her, her back's bothering her, her sciatic nerve. And, uh, oh, wow. And, uh, and he said, I'll be going out of town in the beginning of June. I'll be gone for about a week. And I told him, well, Thursday, this Thursday, I'm going to have a birthday party for my wife. He said, yeah, our birthday's in June. We'll, we'll be out of town. I said, guess what? We'll have a birthday party for you, too. Yeah, yeah we're going to have a party. party. So come on. Come fellowship with us, okay? 
we'll have a good time. We'll worship the Lord together, and then we'll we'll uh, enjoy uh, fellowship one with another. Thank God for the family of God. Amen. Thank God for Amen. the love of God. Yes. Amen. We want you to be a part, brother and sister. But you know, every tongue is going to confess, and every mouth, uh, every tongue is going to confess, and every uh, excuse me, <clears throat> every tongue is going to confess. That he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Brother and sister, he's still in control. He always has been. He always will be. Amen. We Amen. don't have Amen. to allow all this negativity to get us down. Right. God is still God. Amen. Amen. Come on down. As we sing, he's God on the mountain. Yeah. He's God at the sea. Amen. He's God down in the valley. And he's God all over me. So what sometimes I'm up? So what sometimes I'm down? It doesn't affect God. God is still God. Amen. Amen. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him. Let's stop and think about that. He endured the cross. He despised the shame. But there, as, it, as we read to you, even Jesus, there was a joy set before him. I'm going to get through this. Yes. You will not leave my soul in hell, nor suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Amen. And here, I'm going to get through this. Yes. And on the other side, there is joy yes. waiting for me. But not only for him, because what he was willing to sacrifice for you and I, brother and sister. We may go through a valley every now and then. We may face things that we don't like, that we despise. Get your eyes on the other side. Yeah. One of these days, brother and sister, you're going to step out on the streets of gold. Yes. 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 You're going to live for eternity with the Lord. We are to look unto him. And we are to consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest we be worried and faint in Amen. your minds. Ye have not strived in the blood. Resisted in the blood striving against sin. Brother and sister, we came here today to honor the Lord Jesus Christ. But not only today, every day. We ought to live every day. As an honor unto the Lord. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We ought to live Amen. every day as a living sacrifice unto God. This every day that we wake up, God gave me this day. Yes. God, God blessed me with this opportunity to live my life for Him. Yes. I'm going to live it the way that He wants me to. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on now. And I'm not only talking about being a witness. But you know, Jesus told us some things. We want to think about other commandments of the Lord. What about his commandment to you and I? Let not your heart be troubled. Right. Don't allow your heart to be troubled. Yes. Amen. Huh? You believe in God, he said, believe in me. Yes. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am ye may be also. Yes. Don't be troubled in mind or spirit, my friend. Don't be distraught. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. What did he tell Joshua? He said, be strong. He said, well, have not I commanded you? Mm -hmm. Who's leading you, Joshua? Amen. Who was it that appeared to Joshua in his battle array? Ready to go forth into the battle. It was Jesus. Yes. 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 The Lord appeared to him. Come on now, as a warrior with a sword, brother and sister, in his sheath. He said, Have I not I commanded you? I'm the one leading you, Joshua. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Be strong. And I'm a good courage. Yes. You can be strong and have a good courage. Yeah. Reverend talked about Jacob. Huh? Man, he was coming from all sides. Yeah. He left home. His brother was coming to get him. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Huh? What did he do? He got a hold of God. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I, can, I, made, I may have made some mistakes in my life, but there's one thing that I know how to do. Yes. I know how to get a hold of God. I can Amen. pray, and God Amen. is going to hear me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Amen. effectual, Amen. fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Yes, sir. Come on, church. Yeah. Well, we're getting a little older. Maybe we don't have the physical strength that we had at one time. But you know what? You've got more spiritual strength now than you've ever had. Maybe you can't do the physical things. That's okay. But you can pray and you can seek God and you can intercede. Yes. Come on now. Yes. We can pray, brother and sister, and God will answer our prayer. He got a hold of God and he would not let go. Brother and sister, because he realized something that you and I need to realize. Okay? Jesus has already, it's already a done deal. It was done back then. He's the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the earth. They looked forward to what he would do. You and I look back. But either way, it was God's word, and God's word is settled, brother and sister. Yes. Uh, it came to pass just like God said. They looked forward in faith. You and I looked back in faith. Okay? He allowed God to touch him. God absolutely changed him, and he began to walk different. Well, you know what, church? We can let Jesus touch us today. Amen. We can let Jesus touch us, and maybe we've been walking in weakness. Maybe we've been walking in fear. Let's let it change today. Let's walk in strength. Let's absolutely walk, brother and sister, in courage. Let's realize, brother and sister, so what? I like what Esther said. She said, if I die, I die. Yeah, it yeah. just doesn't matter. I'm going to die serving the Lord. Amen. 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 We're talking about the ultimate sacrifice. What is it? We already read it to you. We'll read it again as we get ready to close. Sister Bryce can come to the keyboard, please, man. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Today, as we bow our heads and close our eyes in reverence to him, my friend, don't be afraid. God is with you. He is in you. He will protect you. Whatever it is that God desires in your life, trust him. Stop holding on. Stop leaning to your own understanding. But acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. As we come and we begin to find a place to pray today, she sings and plays. Be of a good courage. God is the one that is commanding you. He was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. He will not fail. God bless you today as our prayer. Let us walk. Christ my Savior.